Welcome back to the Bending Report. You may have heard of airborne rangers, but what about waterborne rangers? Our Ron and just recently caught up with some of these wetsuit warriors to find out what the Ranger Training Brigade is up to. That's right, Susanna. When you think of ranger school, you don't normally think of wetsuits and oxygen tanks. But where you have ranger students in and around water, you must also have safety. You have to be comfortable in the water. That's the key. You have to be comfortable in the water. It's not for everyone. The water is, the, as we say, it's a great equalizer. Um, you can be the biggest, baddest person on the earth, and you get in that water, and it's another world altogether. From combat boots to dive fins, the 4th Ranger Training Battalion has a team of combat divers comprised of eight ranger instructors that, when not teaching ranger students, come together to make sure Victory Pond is safe and ready for action. Ranger! We have a dive mission at Fort Benning to basically cover the Benning phase of Ranger School. By that, we dive Victory Pond for each Ranger class and for each uh, Rangers in Action demonstration to ensure there are no obstructions or no uh, potential dangers to students or our soldiers who are participating in, in training. The 4th RTB dive team recently spent some time in Callaway Gardens Robin Lake to conduct some of their required annual training and help out our neighbors. We're always looking for spots that we can train. As Army divers, we have annual training requirements, uh, navigation swims, we have to go to certain depths. Uh, at least 70 feet a couple times a year. In the past, we've taken trips to uh, Lake Eufaula and even down to Florida to accomplish some of those uh, tasks. We need another spot to uh, do some subsurface navigation swimming. Basically, we get a compass, go underwater, and swim the course. And, and we need some distance because you're looking at a thousand, you know, two thousand, three thousand meter swims. The uh, ponds we have around on post fall considerably short than uh, the, the distance we need there. So we contacted Callaway Gardens, and in the process of doing it, they asked if we wouldn't mind taking a look at some of their uh, structures here. Three five looks good. There's a, uh, there's no risk of ever getting sucked into this thing. It's like I said, just go straight to the drain floor, and it's probably uh, probably six to eight inches in diameter. Todd and uh, Mike, uh, if you would, get a depth while you're down there as well. I'm tracking 30 feet where I'm sitting. Roger, I'm hitting 30 feet. I'm on a, uh, some sort of structure. We're going to figure it out. Diving Callaway also provides the team some extra benefits. It's close and the water is clear. In less than an hour away, uh, this is great. You know, when we uh, go to Florida, it takes a lot of money, it takes a lot of time, you know, three, four days really to make to get down there and make it worth a while. So finding places like this is uh, it's gonna pay big dividends for, for us as budget shrink and uh, as we continue to, to do more with less. The majority of our dives end up in Victory Pond, which uh, you can't see too much in Victory Pond. It's nice to come out here, get down to 40 feet, see some big fish, a bunch of trash out here that we picked up, but uh, it's a nice dive. Although it may look like it's all fun, combat diving is serious business and requires a lot of training, preparation, and hard work. Anytime you're diving, especially in low visibility, there's always a risk of getting hung up when you're in water that you're not familiar with, when you're in a pond or something like that. There's fishing line, there's old old rope, there's debris, there's garbage. Your buddy can get hung up at any time on something, which isn't a problem. You just have to take your time and cut yourself out, but it's always nice to have a partner there with you uh, in the event you can't recover. Um, from getting hung up somewhere. Pretty much all military diving is considered high risk when you're talking about risk assessment and risk mitigation. Training dives like this and our recurring training competencies and core dive competencies that we work on uh, really allow us to mitigate most of those risks. So we're able to safely conduct our dives and meet our mission with the battalion for, for military diving. The 4th RTB dive team is leading the way on and under the water to make sure Ranger students can navigate through safe waters and accomplish their training mission. It's a win-win for us when we can find venues to dive and, uh, and help a local community. We love diving. We're always available and we got the equipment and we enjoy doing what we do. So, The 4th Ranger Training Battalion dive team is currently looking for combat divers. So if you're interested, give them a call and see if you have what it takes to be a part of the team. So Ron, what does a soldier go through to have to become a combat diver? Well, the dive team will first put you through their intense three-week pre-scuba course here at Fort Benning. And if you can make it through that, they'll then send you down to Key West for five weeks to take the Combat Diver Qualification course. And if you pass that, you'll be a certified Army Combat Diver. 